Hey everyone, this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I am taking a break from work to record this video. Shh, don't tell. Why? Because as I was case noting for a client who joined a choir to help her uh, in her loss and in her grief, instead of C H O I R, my brain typed Q U I R E. Yes, that's right. Choir. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, I just need to stop, take a minute, take a break, and dive into part two of this amazing custom haul that I received from the Pink Raspberry. And I do apologize, the last video I said all the information would be down below. For some reason, it did not save my added information. It only put in my default. So I will do my best to make sure that I double check down below before I go live with publicizing this. If you want this, please go to their website down below. There is a way to contact them directly through the website. I have clicked on store or shop and then scroll down to the bottom and then they have this little email area that you can contact. Just say, uh, you know, for the last video, you can say I want the ghost <laughs> Halloween from Jennifer Roberts custom or you can describe this one and I can't wait to show you. I'm super excited and even though what I'm about to show you is licensed work, if you go on to the person's page, they do say that they love seeing the creativity of us using this person's artwork. So we do have the ability to uh, use it in our own creative, artful way, and I have clearance on that. So I just want to give you a heads up that that is why uh, you will see this even though it is somebody who created this as a um, cross stitching and uh, stamping or card making type of artwork. So let's switch this camera around, let's see what I got and I can't wait to hear your reactions. Okay, everyone, the camera has been turned and we are ready to dive into this pink raspberry custom. I will say, even though it is a clear cover, this is double-sided adhesive. Um, can you tell by the eyes what kind of painting this might be? I hope you can see the eyes because I can't see what you're seeing. If not, you'll see it in just a minute. And I cannot wait to clean my craft room. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it this weekend. We have soccer out the wazoo. We have family photos. It's just gonna be a crazy weekend, leading into a crazy week of overtime because I have two days off, but my clients desperately need me right now. And after all my medical leave, anyway. This is from the Pink Raspberry. You will usually get a card, which will look, that shows you Cheryl and Joan, and then on the back, it'll say how to diamond paint. It's a really nice little handy card. Also saves the environment by not having huge sheets of paper. I sent this to Cheryl and said, hey, I would really like this in a custom. Can you see what size it needs to be and can you help make this work? And she did and it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna slowly unroll it. And I don't know, we might, we might have to talk to Cheryl in a minute. We will see. Okay, so first off, these are round drills. I love the Pink Raspberry's round drills. Here's the card I was talking about. They do give you the DMC code on each of the drills, and they're fabulous. They're some of my most favorite rounds that I'm in love with. 
Let's see how many colors there are. I love that. Not only do they have the DMC codes, but they also have the names of the colors. Shows this was packed by Kathy. And there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38 colors in this. It's a 16 inch by 22 inch. Okay. And let's go through. The colors are a little muted, but you'll see why in a minute. They're absolutely gorgeous, though. Lots of green, some blues. Got a little bit of pink pizzazz in there. And I cannot wait to show you. These baggies are the nice, strong bags. They're not going to come apart on you. If you don't have a storage, you can. it's already kitted up for you. Um, do not just throw these in when we're done, <laughs> done with this. I'm going to come back and make these all pretty because this is not going to fit back. Okay. Are you ready for me to turn this over? All right. <gasps> Look at this. It's a gorgeous girl. And not only any gorgeous girl, it is Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And then she has her cute little companions down here. So we have the Tin Man, the Lion, and we have the Scarecrow. We have Dorothy, we have the Emerald City, and I don't think we have Toto in here. I think Toto's on her dress right here. Beautiful hair, complexion. I'm really excited. Now, the one thing here that I saw is it looks like we might have an issue right here. And I don't know if it's because she was trying to help and putting a clear cover on, but let's see. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife. If you wanna go check out how to fix a canvas, there, I'll put it up in the eye for you and I'll also link it down below. But we're just going to see if this is a bubble here. Kind of flimsy. That's not going to work for me. I'm not very good with this flimsy stuff. I don't know how they do it. Okay. At least it's down. And now let's work on this spot right here. Donnie does this so much better over at, oh my goodness, how do you do this, Cheryl and Joan? It's crazy. I just got to get this down so I can show you how to fix this canvas. All right, so then what I'm going to do is take, you guys didn't see, but I got a lavender. I'm going to take this tray and we're just going to push down and get that bubble to work its way out. So yes, there's a difference between a bubble and a pucker. A bubble is just where air gets under the adhesive and that's okay because if you, like I did, splice it, it will lay itself down because the air will come out. If it's a pucker, it means that below the canvas was bent and then the, the glue went over it and you can't really fix that. <laughs> I mean, you can, but many times you have to use your own glue. Now, I think what happened is she normally uses, um, you know, the double-sided adhesive and I think she was trying to help me by putting this clear cover on. And I think by doing that, it caused more harm than help. But when you receive it, you're going to get it with the opaque cover. As you can see in my part one, it was perfect. There were no wrinkles, no rivers. But I think that's what happened. So here we, and then rolling it back up because you're taking the cover off, putting a clear cover on, and then re-rolling it. And that's kind of a no-no. 
but that's not normally how they work. So you'll see all my other paintings have the opaque already on. I think this is the first one she did for me. And she was trying to make me happy by putting a clear cover on so I could show you guys. All right. So, yep. So then I'm just going to take this and it's going to push that bubble right out and it's good as new. These other little rivers are just the plastic because I'm really bad at laying this plastic down. So let's go over this canvas. This canvas is absolutely gorgeous. This is a gorgeous girl, if you guys do not know. And a gorgeous girl is created by a certain artist, and I love gorgeous girls. I have a couple collections. That's my first customs for gorgeous girls. And I saw this one, and then I had stopped getting them produced because of the licensing. But then when I saw that she has on her website that she really enjoys seeing the creativity of people taking her designs and using them in their own artistic work, I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. And it's I'm not selling it, it's for myself, it's for my own artistic work. So we are good to go. This is adorable. If you haven't seen my other videos about the pink raspberry, you'll see here they have the color chart on both the upper right and the bottom left. They have two different images. They have their logo on the top. They have how many inches it is, 16 by 22 inches. They have their contact information down here. Their um, website is PR for pink raspberry. So it's prdiamondpaintings.com. You'll want to check them out. They are out of Canada. They, ooh, hello. They do have a um, Made in Canada seal on it. And Cheryl actually prints these. The Pink Raspberry prints these off. This canvas, right, they have a printer right in their shop. They also put the own glue on it. And they also have an amazing staff that bags up these colors. You can get special drills added. I just told her, just do all round. Um, I might put some sparklers. I might not. I might put some ABs. I might not. Um, I think it'd be really cute to have the Tin Man with some A, like these characters with some ABs so they stick right out. And the Ruby Slippers. I don't know if I have this far enough up. The Ruby Slippers would be really cute to have as an AB as well. This is absolutely adorable. So if you want one like this, definitely reach out to her. Um, I'm not getting a commission or anything like that. I just like to let people know that she has this on file. So if you want to request it, you can. I asked her to give me the best size that wasn't gigantic, and this is the size she came up with. I love the 40 by 50, 40 by 60 area, and that's roughly what this is. Let's measure it in centimeters. I have to go grab my measuring tape. Good thing I cut all that out because my knees were a cracking. Okay, so it is legitimately 16 inches, but if I flip it over, it's just over 40. It's 41 centimeters. I think 22 might be 60. 22 inches. Oh, 24 must be 60 because this is 55 and a half centimeters. So I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to do it. I think this would be beautiful in a little girl's room. It's going to be great in my portfolio. So awesome. So this is part two of my <laughs> custom haul from the Pink Raspberry. I don't, I can't have enough good things to say. I will tell Cheryl, try to stay away from the clear <laughs> covers if you're using opaque because it doesn't, it doesn't ship quite right. However, it's super easy to fix. You saw me fix it on camera. And like I said, down below, I have a video or go back to the eye and check out the video on how to fix rivers, bubbles, and puckers. They all can be fixed and you can keep on moving forward with your amazing designs. So I love you all. Stick around for part three and part four. They're coming up. As always, most of my unboxings are um, 
for members and for Patreons first, and then they get released to the public. So if you would like to become a member and get some behind the scenes action, some videos that the public never sees, as well as my therapeutic uh, healing possibilities series that's going on right now, check out down below how to become a member or a Patreon. I love you all. Take care, be blessed, and until next time, um, be kind to yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.